love organizing my collection, most especially stickers since I have a lot of them in my shop. So I've been wanting to DIY something flexible, cheap, and easy to do. You know how ring binders are really portable and easy to rearrange? So I thought, why not create sleeves for me to insert the stickers, like a photo album? I bought all the supplies from Shopee since they're really cheap and convenient. First, we'll need an A6 ring binder. I got mine clear, but those laser ones are definitely prettier. They come in 6 rings, and the inserts are 4.1 by 5.8 in size. Next, we'll need paper. We'll use this to create dividers and segregate the stickers in groups. Then we need 4 by 6 OTP bags. These are thicker and clearer than other plastic bags, plus they don't have that unsightly seal at the bottom. Make sure to look at the actual photos when shopping online since some say OPP but actually sell the cheaper one. Next, we'll have the adjustable 6-hole puncher which is set for A6. These types can also be set for A7 and A5 liners. Then I'll use a trim board to make it easier to measure and cut. This is the Your Memory Keepers trim and scoreboard. First, I'll cut bond paper to size so that it's ready for printing. I shall measure here 6 inches and then cut. I used the 100 GSM paper but you may use any thickness you want. I prefer paper over board since I don't want them to bulk up the binder too much. Next, we measure 4 inches and then cut. Make sure that the paper size in the file and printer settings are also set to 4x6. We can get 3 sheets out of a letter or A4 sized paper. Add in a few more cut sheets and load them to the printer and start printing. So now I have here the printed sheets. I have shared the file of the tracker in my shop's Facebook group. Actually, I edited it so that there will be one more row since the paper is tall enough for one more. And I just printed on one side so that every section would only have 12 stickers in them. I made sure to leave a half inch space at the left for the punch holes. Make sure that when you insert the paper into the puncher, you align it with the A6 guide mark so that the paper will be centered. Next, I'll punch through the OTP bags. What I do is I get scrap pieces of paper. These are around an inch and a half wide. Doesn't really matter how long they are since the top part is open anyway. So just insert them and align to the side where you'll punch the holes. What this does is that it reinforces the plastic since they are really thin. It makes it easier for the blades to cut through cleanly. I've tried to punch them as is and the plastic just gets stuck at the blade. Now that we have a bunch of them, we can now punch holes through them. It doesn't really matter which side you'll punch since when you put them in a binder, you can position which side the holes will face. So just align them at the guide marks for A6 to center the plastic. Then I usually recycle these strips of paper since you can still use the other side to punch holes through. So just insert it to another OPP bag with the unpunched side at the edge. I will now write on the printed sheets. I group them by release date since I have a lot of stickers, and it's easier for me to categorize them by the date they were released. I just write down the names of the stickers in the group alphabetically below the boxes. Other groupings can be by collection, theme, or type, or can be to track the date you purchased them, whichever makes it easier for you to remember. Size. These dividers also track which stickers you have in your collection so that it's easier for you to find them when you need them. 
I just use a sticker from each sheet and put them inside the box corresponding with the name below. To assemble, just open the rings of the binder. Then insert the punched papers and plastic which will hold the stickers. Make sure that the top part is the open side. Then just insert the stickers back to back. I usually follow the order in which I wrote them. Alright, so this makes this group sorted out and easier to find. You may also add tabs to make the sections easier to find. I've added here temporary tabs to show you. Some groups have more than two sections, so this helps in jumping through a specific collection. Hope you guys learned something new and thanks for watching!